าสายสกันนักเบียดกองทราสามาสาแดงตามลงยิ่ The Royal Lao Air Force is an American created byproduct of the secret war. It's trained, equipped, and advised by Americans. And in a country where fighting spirit is hard to find, the Air Force has become an elite force. The pride of the Air Force are these fighter bomber pilots. Actually, their fighter bombers are T-28s, originally built as trainers during the Korean War. But they are rugged, easy to maintain, and carry a surprisingly large load of bombs, rockets, and napalm. With 40 T-28s, The Lao Air Force flies up to 4,000 missions a month. The pilots quickly become veterans. They are paid about $55 a month, plus a bonus of $1.60 per combat mission. By any standard, their losses have been heavy. The sons of two Laotian cabinet ministers are among the pilots who have been killed. This year's enemy offensive has put new strains on the Air Force. There are more missions and more enemy anti-aircraft guns. For the pilots we flew with recently, it was the fifth mission of the day. Except for a short lunch break, they had already spent seven hours in there. Neutral Laos has a more formal war. These young Royal Lao Air Force pilots are part of it. After a day of combat missions, many supplementing American air strikes on communist supply routes in Laos, they relax a bit. Their pay is $12 a month. There is no flight pay, and their tour of duty is for the duration of a war that has no end in sight. Their support is all from the United States Air Force, but like the rest of our military aid in Laos, it is given discreetly. The legitimate government of Laos has asked our help, thus our participation in the war is legal. But the pretense of Laotian neutrality is the price Prime Minister Savana Fuma extracts from us in exchange for letting us help fight his war in Laos, as well as letting us use Laos to help fight our war in Vietnam. The masquerade of neutrality is based on Savannah Fuma's reluctance to be labeled an American puppet and his hope that genuine neutrality may come to Laos when the armed communists in his country have been forcefully driven out. Whatever may or may not happen in Laos, today and for the last 12 years, it's the same long war. Uh, hello, Yates. Uh, do you read uh, 976? The Royal Lao Air Force has 24 of these C-28 fighter bombers in action. When the weather permits, they fly seven days a week, supporting ground troops and shooting up North Vietnamese supply lines into South Vietnam along the Ho Chi Minh and Xianuk trails, both of which run through Laos. Quite a load for a Korean War vintage training plane. 
much of the pilot training here is strictly on the job. These pilots range in age from 19 to 34. Many have been flying combat missions like this for six years. They go to war every morning as routinely as an American man goes to his office. About 8,000 feet below us is the famous Ho Chi Minh Trail. From here it doesn't look like much. But in fact it's quite an engineering feat to hack a road through these mountainous jungles. It still is one of the principal supply routes of the North Vietnamese into South Vietnam. From here it's a small red ribbon winding down these valleys. The reason we're not flying lower and closer is because of anti-aircraft position defending the road. If you look closely, you can see where the trail has been bombed. See some bomb craters. The trail has been mostly hand-built. And you can see by the enormous cuts that have been made in the face of these cliffs, the tremendous amount of work that's gone on here in two years. The reason the foliage on each side of the trail looks brown and dead is because it's been defoliated to make the target clear for the uh, T-28. a day's flying, there is happy hour, often a mixture of American whiskey and loud dancing. One pilot told me the whiskey helps him forget the 12.7s. He was referring to the 12.7 millimeter heavy machine guns, which are one of the communist favorite and most deadly anti-aircraft weapons. That thought always exists in the back of your mind. Now, it, you never know, of course, when somebody's going to pull in a 12.7.